Okay, I wanted to do a uh, short video on the UST Strike Force. I've had this one for probably two or three years at this point, and I've had others lost on boating accidents, believe it or not, just canoeing and crap like that, and it ended up at the bottom of the creek. But this is one of those rare, decent ferro rods you can get at Walmart. It's not exactly my most favorite, but at the same time, before I kind of started buying and finding ways to get a hold of the, the bigger ferro rods and the, you know, like the half inch jobs, this one is about as good as it got. And they were like 25 when I bought them at Walmart. They're still like 25 on Amazon. Um, but as far as a ferro rod you can get at Walmart, this is about as, as good as it gets. Um, it's got a good soft ferro rod. The striker isn't terrible. It, uh, helps if it's been in use a little bit. There we go. But, uh, yeah, uh, it comes with a kind of a high vis little case, and the two sides fit into each other. In the end, you've got a, uh, little pop off and it's got some of these little wax coated jobs it's just cotton and wax like all the other special uber mini inferno super duper fire something or other i've never used them i've usually just used this with uh, tender but i'll spark one and some tender on this if you're going to walmart to get you know some of your uh, outdoor kit and your your fire kit and things like that this and the spark force are probably your best bet i wouldn't go with anything that came in like a big bulk package with a crummy axe or anything like that uh, the spark force is a little bit smaller rod and stuff like that but it's still in you know, a high vis case and i like the high vis stuff because if you drop it you can see it on the ground you know i can't tell you how many times i've had gear i've had to search for be it black or tan or any of that stuff that just blends in when you drop it Orange isn't going to do that in general. So I've really grown to like the high vis stuff. Um, at a certain point, I was like, oh, that's not very, that's not very cool and tactical and whatever. But uh, I mean, I'll tell you, it's a better tactic to have something bright orange that you can save your life with than to uh, lose something that isn't bright orange and you're not very tactical at all or alive. So I'd say this is, this is my best ferro rod recommendation you can get at walmart is the strike force and then the spark force as a secondary i haven't tried the the one-handed little sparky one that's from ust either this is a ust brand so if you're if you want to check this out it's ultimate survival technologies and you can get them on amazon or anywhere else but uh, i'll just do kind of a short demo on this and uh yeah let's see how it works all right, so it's it's a fairly simple procedure. If you're going to use the tender that comes with it, I don't know, maybe it'd be better to use a knife to bust this up. But you just want to get it all fibrous. I can feel a lot more wax in this than I did in that uh, Zippo the other night. I'll tell you that much. But you just kind of tease it and bust it up. Probably needs busted up a little more than that, but all right. And you know, the one thing I don't really like about this is that it seems to it just seems cumbersome to use the uh, striker because it's connected. I find that to be kind of undesirable, but I mean. Damn, that's freaking, that spot right there is hard on the knuckles trying to strike. How about we move this, so I'm off to one side here. We just bury this thing in it.
I gotta say that actually, I haven't used this in a long time just because I've got a lot of other stuff. I'm surprised how hard it was to get this striker to actually strike on that rod. I'd, I mean, I've set cotton gloves on fire in the middle of the floor before with it, just joking around with buddies. I don't know what's up with this, but that's kind of the worst luck I've ever had with this thing. Hmm. Like I said, that freaking, that's cumbersome to have that connected. But. I don't know, seems to be striking good now. I don't know what the problem was while I was striking for that stupid tender right there, but uh, heck, I don't know, maybe my technique was just jacked up on that. I'll put that out. It's my most abused Mora scabbard, by the way. So, with the way that's going, let's try this cedar bark tender. Now that I've put some fresh scraping on this thing, which it seemed to have pretty fresh scraping when I was trying to start that little uh, wax tender, but uh, let's see how this goes up. Seems to be doing better with, with the dry tender than it did with the uh, included wax supposed emergency fire starter. I still really like this, but it seemed to work pretty hokey for this video. But again, maybe it's just I hadn't hadn't been using it in so long and the uh, just them being connected, you don't get a good... You just don't get a good freaking scrape off of it. So, I mean, I'd say this is like a 5 out of 10, which is at least 2% better than everything else you get at Walmart. Or at least two, two, uh, two scores better than what you'd get at Walmart. Almost everything else you get at Walmart's about a 3. So, at a 5 out of 10, I'd say this is about still the best one you can get at Walmart. But um, it definitely shows since I hadn't used it and it, you know, wasn't wanting to light and strike. And, you know, you really, it's got a... A little bit of a technique you got to get down with it for it to actually work good for you. I mean, I've been kind of diddling with it for a few minutes and it seems to be working a little bit better, but uh, not exactly the most user friendly, but it will get the job done. And you've got a lot of strikes on that frail rod. And if nothing else, you use the back of your knife and forget that you're using, you know, forget that you even have a supposed striker if it's not working well for you. On another one of these I had, I did have the ferro rod pull out. This hasn't happened with this, but you should assume it's eventually going to pull out, and you're going to get another inch and a half more of ferro rod, and at that point, I'd just say drill it and put it on a necklace or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, it's about the best you're going to get for uh, Sam Walton Superstore, but, you know, I've seen worse. It... Like I said, I guess five, five out of 10, you know, that's what I'd give this thing as a five out of 10.